to buy my first horse trailer. Woo! Woo! Anyway, I'm excited because I've never had a horse trailer before and I've had a horse for almost my entire life. I started riding when I was five. Sassy, my good old buddy that's with us now, is 28 years old and she was born when I was 11 and I've always relied on somebody else to transport her somewhere, whether it's the vet, horse shows, to trail riding, wherever I might go, Sassy has had to take an Uber, if you will. But now, she gets her own limo. Limo is kind of pushing it a little far, don't you think? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ninety seven. Nineteen ninety seven. American brand three horse slant loader. Larry, thank you. Yeah. My first thank horse trailer. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. Enjoy it. So we dropped the trailer off yesterday right here at Ellensburg Break and Bearing for a safety check just to make sure everything's good to go. These guys came very highly recommended to us so I'm pretty excited to pick up the trailer and found out that actually we were going to have a pretty dangerous situation on our hands had we not brought the trailer here. And figured this would be a good opportunity to just tell you all if you're looking at buying a trailer, what are the top things to look for to make sure you don't get a total lemon? The, the main thing on a trailer is the structural integrity of the frame and the hitch being a good solid hitch. This, I call these bulldog. I don't know if they're all bulldog hitches, but this type of a hitch is the most secure latch that you can get. I love them. They make cheaper ones that work, but they're not as stable as that. The solid frame, if you look at it all the way along the frame, make sure it's not cracked. No cracks in the corners here. Um, tires, very important. Tires should not be more than six to eight years old anytime you're pulling them because they can blow out without even looking like they're bad. He's <laughs> humble, but I will just say he saved us from having a major blowout on our way to our new house. That tire had started to separate, meaning that the cords were pulling away from each other and it would have in a short time become a, an explosion on the road. To check the age of a tire, you'll find on both sides of the tire, it'll start with DOT and then a series of I think eight numbers and then at the end there's a separate tag on one side that will have four digits that will give you the week and the year that the tire was made so 4614 is a tire that was made in the 46th week of 2014 that's a tire that you should be getting off of a trailer or not buying a trailer with it on it because of the age you're six years old there um, check for cracking in the in between the tires even if they're not too old cracking on the side wall damage to the wheel this one has mats in it which is good protection for the flooring but pick the mats up make sure that that's not dry rotted and full of manure and when you're hauling animals you should clean them out um, to keep the floor from dry rotting because if you lost the floor going down the road you have an animal whose legs dragging on the highway trailers will have rust superficially on uh, like this I would call this superficial rust but if you can tap on it and it sounds hollow that's junk there would be a lot of work to, to get that one going again check the condition of the lights and the wiring um, and you don't have to know how to wire just if the wire looks old and cracked you're gonna need to do something with the wiring it should be encased in something so it can't drag the ground look underneath make sure they're not dragging and not single bare wires running along should be in a group an example would be <laughs> this one is so good it's it's held inside so it can't even get out into the weather but there's a wire that runs to this one that should be and is running in a tube down here it's not just sitting there and you need to no matter what you're doing 
not more than three years, pack the bearings on your trailer. Now, I don't mean just stuff more grease in them. Pull them out, clean them, make sure that they're not burnt, rusted, pitted, and put fresh grease in them and put them back together properly. You, great time to adjust the brakes then. This, your tire mounts here, this is the hub. It's got one bearing that fits in there and one bearing that fits in there. The axle runs through the middle. And the bearings are filled with grease and put in there and a seal to keep dirt out. One bearing for the inside, one for the outside. They're packed with grease. Use a high quality grease and make sure they're adjusted properly. And now we have two trailers. Woo! All right, see you guys next time. Bye.